Okay, so this is some new that I just saw recently from uh, Brightech09. I'll leave his channel in the description below. And yes, if you are seriously looking for a tech channel that has no BS and no nonsense, I highly suggest you go take a look at Brightech. He's what I would call a veteran in this industry. And seriously, he knows what he talks about way better than me. But in this case, I just wanted to kind of take a look at it myself and see what this Ubuntu can do. And yes, I am going to grab Windows 10 theme that will look like Windows 10. I don't know what to expect inside, but I will uh, just get it and see where that goes. When you click download, it will come to this site. You hit download here and it will download the ISO file and we'll take it from there. Here we are inside this uh, system. Actually, it doesn't look bad. Let me just adjust the uh, screen or the display really quick, if I can. And yes, I'm running it on a virtual machine because I just want to show you real quick. Oh, I'm supposed to go 1920, 1080 because that's this screen right here. Yep, keep. Okay, and this is what you would expect. So they even have a refresh desktop. They have a few system, but what I, I chose Windows 10 theme and somehow it gave me the Windows 11. Uh, let me check real quick. Yeah, Windows 10 theme. That's the one I pressed. I think, <laughs> I think might have been Windows 11. Anyway, let me uh, just go in here and see what we're having. This is uh, widgets on the side. Uh, I usually, I never used widgets even when it was a real thing. So, so it has dictionary, individual core usage, Kate session, notes, keyboard layout, logout, lock, media player, menu 11, menu X, a launcher based cascading menu. Oh, look at that. So you click this. That is interesting. Okay, let me get rid of this. Do I get this out? Okay. Remove menu X. Enter edit mode of menu X. Put it here. Oh, that. You see, can uh, do anything else with it. Enter edit mode. And I put it right here. Yeah. Looks like we are in a good mood. I'm going to remove the widgets. And I'm going to remove the weather report. Okay, we should be good to go at this point. Here we go. Accept and get started. Inspirational. Of course, edge like always. Trying to oversell. I, I, I'm I, not sure if I'm clicking a browser or I'm going to use sales car <laughs> thingy going on. Just edge. Edge. Microsoft. Just stop. Stop it. Let people use Edge if they want to. Don't make it a bad situation. People download Edge and then you turn people off from downloading. So yeah, Edge works here. The uh, status bar or the bar on the bottom here. It has the Windows 11 right here. And we have the Windows 10 that I added from the widgets, which I may not be the best fan. Dolphin browser it has instead. Oh, look at that. So they installed Dolphin with a Windows 11 theme or 10 these days now looks really convincing i'm really surprised even though i clicked on windows 10 if i'm not wrong but somehow i, do I downloaded i think windows 11 but you get the point i'm dr i'm running this on the virtual machine so in your machine would be much faster as you see we have connected to the internet this is the usb let me see yeah the volume mixer actually works uh, and looks just like it would be on windows 10 or 11. let's go to obs project really quick and uh, we're gonna try to download obs for windows just to see if they kind of pre-installed or pre-included uh wine libraries really quick oh okay and i'm gonna click the one for windows let me see finish is installing yeah i got it come on microsoft now you see why people don't use edge because you actually push people off the edge and people like me don't like to be pushed around and don't like to be told what to do and how to do th okay let me see if we can install an app Oh yeah, they have Wine pre-configured, looks like. So let's see, hit install. And I, I don't know, I'll be blown away if they did this one right. Because I know, especially if you come from Windows and having to configure Wine and tr play on tricks and bottles and all that, or Wine tricks, sorry, or play on Linux just to install, install executable files. Yeah, it's quite a turn off. 
I gotta say, I'm a user myself and it is quite a turn off. And somehow, I don't know where that installation went at all. So let me put OBSC. So the search kind of works, but not really that good. Uh, it's not, it's not getting the point. Let me check office. Yeah, here goes that. The exe file really went absolutely nowhere. And the reason I'm not probably being very fair and taking my time and doing all that with it is that I'm trying to do it as if somebody is coming straight up from Windows to Windows Ubuntu or Ubuntu Windows and see how their experience would look like. I'm acting as if I know nothing about Ubuntu or Linux and somehow my office just disappeared. Low disk space, I know that. It, it is, it's quite janky, I gotta say. This is, I'm assuming, the App Store. Let me open it real quick, if it opens. Now, is it going to replace Windows? Uh, no. What would I call this one? I would call it a Ubuntu with a Windows theme, which that's what they actually label it to, and rightfully so. I'm glad that they are actually honest on this one. Ubuntu Cinnamon Windows 10 theme. So on top of the engine, you have a Windows 10 theme. Discover closed unexpectedly. Let me see if I can restart it. So are you going to replace your Windows with Ubuntu if you're an avid Windows user? Uh, no, no. The theme looks good. They implemented the stuff here really nice and good, but I see there's a lot of things that you will have to actually learn. But when it comes to using a Ubuntu, I would say this is probably the closest thing you will get to. I, I'm not even joking. I've seen so many of these attempts and imitations and all that. This one is the closest. Now, what else can I try here? There is nothing much that I can really go in depth because, you know, it's next impossible to, to install executable files because i know you would say and by by the way they did a good job with the settings i gotta say that yes they did a really good job to make it very familiar to you transitioning from windows 11 or 10 to this one so you can find your settings uh quick and here we have to run the XC files or MSI and all that install additional compatibility modules automatically yes of course, yes. And you could install stuff with terminal. As always, terminal is the, the grace force. System has been updated. And uh, let's try to rerun that uh, file again, the OBS. And what I was saying is, for example, you would say, but why would you want to run those things, uh, uh, Windows apps on Ubuntu? Well, there's a lot. And I mean, the majority of the apps that run on Windows don't really run on Ubuntu or Linux. And unfortunately, for example, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, you, you would expect probably all YouTubers to use fancy video editing software and all that. I know how to use those too, but I'm not going to. As you all know, I use Filmora. To be exact, right now I'm on Filmora 13. And I tried so many times to put Filmora on a Linux, whether it be Cinnamon or whatnot, it just does not work. It doesn't work. And... Filmora has a few features that it is extremely rare to find on other video editors. Like, for example, automatic removal of pauses, of empty spaces, uh, the ability to download inserts and clips and built intros and all that with ease. I, I mean to build them easy, because obviously, yeah, you can do with Adobe and all that. You can do all that. What I mean to not spend your entire day editing a 10 minute video like this one that you're watching right here why the hell would i spend 15 hours making this video i just want to be on point you just want to see how it looks in here you want to see how this menu opens how this other menu opens and that's it and you want to go home bye bye thank you omnitech for making this video boom you make your own decision if you want to give it a try and that's it but unfortunately i cannot install that app here I tried and it just doesn't work because that's how it works. And yeah, it is not a replacement. Now, would I suggest you start learning Ubuntu and Linux and all that? Absolutely yes. One million percent. Not that it is more practical than Windows. It is not. Truth be told, it is not more practical than Windows because we have been used with Windows forever. And Linux and Ubuntu and all that stuff, it requires a little bit more hands-on, even for the smallest thing you need to use terminal and all that. Things are not that streamlined. But I love it for the privacy. It has a large 
community so cold that actually you can jump in and you'll get help right away from people like me and you that just are willing to help each other not that you have to call a call center and all that and decipher the language in my opinion this is probably the best effort so far to make it look like windows would i install it yes i'm going to install it on a laptop it's an older laptop because this one can run with a minimum of two gigs of ram and yes i know it will be much more stable if i install it directly on a machine not a virtual machine like i have here and yes the same will be for you this window probably will not close by itself if you had it running on a normal machine but this is just the gist of it just to show you again thank you brian for uh bringing this up and showing it to all of us i will leave a link on the description below to brightex09 he's an absolute legend when it comes to tech tutorials and tech showdowns and just simply tech with no bs i i i'm not even joking and with that said i hope you enjoyed this video and go give it a click i'll leave a link on the description to the uh files as well and you choose whether you want windows 10 theme or 11 or whatever you want and try it yourself it's it's very easy it's very simple and looks like they did quite a great job probably your best your best shot at getting a grab or a grasp at ubuntu if you're coming from win we'll see you next time